The 2024 Aston Martin DB12 embodies Aston Martin's British sense of perfection. Its breathtaking exterior has been praised so far as a head-turner. While its appearance may lead one to believe that it houses a V12 engine, Aston Martin surprises with a twin-turbocharged 4-liter V8 under the hood, generating an impressive 671 horsepower. This power allows the DB12 to reach a top speed of 202 miles per hour, living up to what it's famous for. The interior is equally dynamic, seamlessly combining premium materials with state-of-the-art technology. While Aston has currently only unveiled the DB12 coupe, we eagerly anticipate the introduction of a convertible Volante variant in the near future, further enhancing the lineup's diversity. To think of how DB12 has suddenly become the center of attention amongst the graceful fleet of Aston Martin, there must be something extra, something unparalleled. And let's extract what's that. The new DB12 from Aston Martin is targeting a wide range of customers, with its inside-out features dreamed by the masses. With this car, Aston Martin has come out of the Formula One circles, only to give you a sense of F1 on your highways. Representing a fresh addition to Aston's lineup, described as a super tourer by the company, anticipated to commence deliveries in the third quarter of this year, Aston Martin has yet to disclose the starting price, building up the excitement surrounding this highly anticipated model. While the coupe variant has been announced thus far, convertible Volante is yet another of its variants awaited direly, which we believe will soon join the DB12 lineup. Currently, there are no options for selecting different trims for the DB12. However, we anticipate that the pricing of these variants will be positioned between the DB11 and DBS models, offering a compelling balance of value and performance. Looking ahead, when the Volante model becomes available, it is expected to come at a premium price compared to the coupe, adding an extra touch of exclusivity and freedom to the lineup. The diverse exterior of these variants share the same values of Aston Martin, and especially DB12, which is remarkably helping the blatant speeding of this creature with its advanced aerodynamics. Each aspect, from lines to contours, is about precision and perfection, putting on display Aston Martin's dedication for aesthetics. From the first look, one can say that DB12's exterior is a leap of advancement in design for the brand. The basic concept is derived from the esteemed legacy of the previous DB models, while at the same time introducing a better version setting the standards higher. Talking of legacy, aerodynamics aestheticized elongated silhouette and the distinguished grille are retained from its previous models. Moreover, the DB12 pushes boundaries by introducing a sharp contemporary design that breaks new ground. Its muscular haunches and broad shoulders provide a hint of the powerful V8 engine within, while the low, wide stances exude stability and agility. From the gracefully tapering tail to the dynamic roofline, the DB12's design is made to surf the wind tides. The whole point of this adaptive aerodynamics is to ensure the vehicle remains firmly planted at high speeds, thereby enhancing the supercar's performance. The diffuser and the spoiler at the back are not only there for aesthetics, but have a point to prove adding to the downforce and stability. Aston Martin has on all fronts redesigned the Aston Martin to lead the luxury sports car market with intense engineering. The funny thing is that the best of this car is inside, as the control and automation comes from its cockpit, which we still have to go through. The interior is making sure the exceptional performance of this car doesn't come at the cost of comfort. It is sewed with a carefully crafted DB12's interior giving elite vibes. Seats to dashboard, hand-stitched leather sparing no corner uncovered, making sure of a better experience. As of now, we don't have the idea of how much is the space they are going to space for cargo. But don't worry, as soon as it's revealed, we will be here to detail it down for our viewers. Known as the Grand Tourer in its purest form, the DB12 is meant for exceptional performance. Packed with twin-turbocharged 4-liter V8 engine is producing an output of 671 horsepower. This makes this machine propel from 0 to 60 miles per hour in span of 3.5 seconds, 
recorded to reach at 202 miles per hour through independent testing agencies. In spite of its exceptional power and speeding, the handling is even remarkable of this with 8-speed static transmission coupled with an electronic rear differential, making the driving experience pretty dynamic. Once unveiled, the personal experience of driving will be brought to you in an in-depth review. But what is known so far is that the interior is decorated with more than just seating, and that it is more or less like an infotainment arena incorporating cutting-edge software. This seemingly integrates the new engine and chassis components. One of the most prominent features is the Advanced Stability Control System, which offers four intervention protocols – wet, on, track, and off – and five overall driving modes – GT, Sport, Sport Plus, Individual, and Wet. The default GT mode has been thoughtfully calibrated to deliver exceptional primary ride quality making it ideal for long-distance cruising, a characteristic synonymous with the finest Aston GTs. On the other hand, Sport and Sport Plus modes tighten body motions and enhance the DB12's responsiveness. The new stability control system leverages data from a wide array of sensors positioned throughout the vehicle, including a state-of-the-art six-axis inertial measurement unit. This innovative technology enables real-time analysis of the DB12's behavior and facilitates predictive assessment of available grip levels. By allowing more refined adjustments to the powertrain and chassis during dynamic scenarios, the driver experiences fewer instances of the stability control system actively intervening to correct the vehicle's trajectory. Aston Martin's head of vehicle engineering, Simon Newton, succinctly captures the approach less intervention, more anticipation. During the development of the DB12's chassis, the engineering team carefully benchmarked against Ferrari's Roma, while aiming to strike a unique balance between the Roma and the Bentley Continental GT. Simon Newton, the director at Aston Martin, highlights the team's emphasis on refining the on-center steering feel, a crucial aspect for a high-performance road car. Getting it right on the road is of paramount importance for this class of vehicle. Newton emphasizes, although rear-wheel steering was evaluated, Aston's engineers concluded that it was unnecessary. Newton confidently asserts that the DB12 is a car that thrives without extensive dynamic modifiers. And it's been paying well, as till now the experience of driving is concerned. Driving. The initial indications are promising. Built on an evolved aluminum architecture that has been the foundation of every recent Aston Martin sports car, the DB12 boasts enhanced rigidity and a wider stance for improved stability. Rear-wheel drive is the standard configuration, as there is no option for all-wheel drive. Anticipate a more comfortable ride, thanks to the inclusion of new active dampers in the suspension system, designed to absorb road imperfections. Aston Martin claims that the DB12 offers a wider range of settings, allowing drivers to choose between comfort and sportiness. The GT, Sport, Sport Plus, Wet, and Individual modes can be selected by the driver using a convenient rotary dial located on the center console. This intuitive system enables adjustments to the chassis, throttle response, and gearbox settings, providing the Aston Martin DB12 with the versatility to serve as a refined grand tourer for long highway journeys, or to transform into an agile performer ready to conquer winding back roads all with a simple flick of a switch. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming car reviews. We value your feedback, so please share your thoughts in the comments section. Catch you in our next review.